But uh, I am, of course, the, the dynamic there in terms of geopolitics of and the course. war in the East is very different than mm-hmm. people expressing their First Amendment right to protest. Well, yes, but I also think that what people are starting to see, at least in, in the occupation uh, of, of Palestine, is um, just an increasing crisis of humanitarian condition. And that, to me, is just where I tend to mm-hmm. come from on this issue. You use the term the occupation of Palestine. Mm. What did oh. you mean by that? Oh, um, I think it, what I meant is like the, the settlements that are increasing in, in some of these areas and, and places where, um, where Palestinians are experiencing uh, difficulty in access to uh, their housing and home. Do you think you can expand on that? Yeah, I mean, I think I'd also just... I, I am not the expert on geopolitics on this issue. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's acknowledgement of not being an expert in geopolitics hints at the boundaries of her grasp on intricate international matters. Her statements regarding the occupation of Palestine and the ensuing humanitarian crisis might be construed as showcasing a biased perspective towards Israel, echoing broader criticisms of progressive politicians' stance on the issue. By dissecting AOC's choice of terminology, like occupation and settings, one can discern an underlying ideological leaning, often portraying the Israeli-Palestinian conflict through the lens of Palestinian suffering juxtaposed with Israeli assertiveness. AOC's hesitance to delve deeper or elaborate further on her remarks could be indicative of a profound lack of insight or comprehension. Regarding her stance on this matter, her comments encapsulate a prevalent critique of foreign policy, particularly progressive viewpoints concerning Israel and the Middle East.